Hey everybody, welcome back to the 509. I uh, just made a video a little while back about making some um, curved copper roof pans and we used the shrinker stretcher to make those radiuses in them and I didn't show a real uh, in-depth um, process of how we did it but I was going to show you on this video, I was going to show you this uh, shrinker stretcher up close, how the jaws work and how to actuate it, what uh, a couple of do's and don'ts that I've come across uh, while using it. And um, But basically what we're going to do is I'm going to get a, a piece of copper and I'm going to bend it in a Z shape and we're going to make it about, about one inch by the middle doesn't matter. I think it's going to be a couple inches or plus or minus and then another inch down so it's going to be one inch. And it's going to be one inch and then we're going to sh uh, what we're going to do we're going to stretch the outer part so that way it makes an arch like this like that and then this is going to be the level part here we're not going to do anything to the middle of it and then the bottom part here we're going to uh shrink it did i say stretch so meant stretch that and then shrink this part here so it makes it an inside curve there. So let me go ahead and get that copper ready and um, we'll get started. Okay, so here's the shrinker stretcher. It's got these two heads on it here and um, one of them, of course, does the shrinking and one does the stretching. So basically it's manually operated, has a foot pedal here. And every time you actuate the foot pedal here, it um, moves these jaws here. And as you can see those jaws there together, watch, the top one's gonna come down as well. So I can hold it steady. It comes down and when it hits the other one, they separate. And so that st uh, stretches your metal and makes it longer and you let it go and it goes back up but you keep doing that now one of the things about this is you got to know you got to know your metal um if you're using something malleable that's like copper or lead or i'm not sure about zinc i've never tried it on zinc um, it usually tends to work really well because it's soft but if you use something more stiff like aluminum or even steel that stuff's real tough and um, i've split uh, some aluminum trying to stretch it right here on this side so you got to just work it nice and easy a little bit at a time and um, hopefully you know it'll work out I, I just don't do a lot with aluminum I mainly use this for copper but this one's the other side this one's the uh, shrinker and you can see those jaws there where they're separated so you slide the metal inside the little gap there and when you actuate the pedal it, they come down together and they squeeze the middle or the metal together to shrink it or makes it shorter it actually works pretty well but um, let me go ahead and put the camera on the uh, tripod and I'll show you how this thing works okay so this side here is the stretcher we're going to use this to see if we can make this to go to curve outward so in other words this is going to go out this way and then arch back around this way so a couple of things to take note of is pressure when you step on this thing if you give it you know a full press then you could rip something you could tear this metal or something so you want to go nice and easy take your time feel it out a little bit and then the other thing is intervals if you put a bunch of stretches all the way down this metal all the way down the line you're going to stretch that really hard so you want to try to space yourself a little bit, maybe to go about three or four inches at a time and then see how your arch is coming along. You know, if you have a template, you can go ahead and try it with your template. If it needs more, you can either stretch the same spots or what I would do is go in between the two spots that you just stretched and do another um, stretch there as well. So let's give it a shot. Okay, I'd start out right here on the end. And you want to, like I said, just, I kind of tap it a couple, three times or so, and just kind of go every three or four inches and just get it started. As you can see already, 
Can you see it in there? It's already starting to stretch there. So let's keep on going. I just kind of eyeball, you know, about a few inches when I'm doing my stretching. Now, as you can see again now, you can see where it's stretching a little bit, but it's getting all warped, and that's because it's got some built-up pressure right here on this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it around and go to the other side and start shrinking it, and then that way it'll relieve that pressure. And we don't wanna start off too much at first. We just wanna go a little bit at a time. So let me get you over here so we don't hit you with the metal here. All right, so let's see here. Looks like I'm good. Okay, here we go. Just start off a little bit. We're gonna just do some crimps on this one here. Just a little bit at a time. Three, four inches. Okay, so now you can kind of see right here where it's starting to arch that way, and then this one is arching in the same way as well. So we're starting to have, have an arch like this. So when you look at these crimps here, you can see that they'll reflect how much pressure you put on them when you hit them uh, with the actuation foot pedal. So here, I didn't hit it too hard, but if you look at this one here, that one I hit a little bit harder, so it's got a stronger crimp. The same with, I think I did another one here as well. No, the other ones are pretty average, but that one, that one got away from me just a little bit. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and continue to arch this some more by crimping it in between. And let's do that real quick as well. Okay, see how it's starting to arch even more, but it's starting to build up some pressure on this other side. So we'll go back to the other side and do this side here with the stretcher. Let's see here. All right, there you go. We'll go put this up on the bench and take a look at it. Okay, so here it is. Finished product just for this little experiment was all. I didn't need this for any kind of project or anything. I was just making it for the video, but like I said, we bent about an inch up and you can't really go too, too far when you bend these legs up like that because they won't fit in the stretcher or the shrinker. The jaw depth is only so far, so I went ahead and made them an inch. Seems like an inch works out pretty well. And um, as you can see, it's got a pretty good arch on it. Started out flat, did a series of crimps, shrinks on this side here, series of stretches on this side here, and it gave us this arch here. So now sometimes you can, the other contractor will install a window uh, or a door with the arch top. And once he does that, um, you could just nail this to the top over the door, as long as you follow that contour and then um, it'll be flashed and go ahead and continue on with their siding and stuff. So hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them down below. And um, don't forget to wear your gloves when you work with copper. One, you keep your handprints off of it. And two, this stuff can be pretty sharp. Aluminum's not so bad, but copper and stainless, those to me are the sharpest ones. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share this video if you can. I appreciate it. We'll see you back here at the 509. Thanks.